What's going on everybody? Toby Wayne from Toby Wayne Studios. So I'm going to do this uh, tutorial here on how I slush cast. I talked about it in the uh, previous video, but I wanted to do a breakdown. Um, I have my beautiful wife Katie recording this for me over my shoulder. Say hello Katie. Hello Katie. Ah, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> See what I have to deal with, people? See what I have to deal with? Anyway, with that being said, we're going to cut the comedy and get right to it. So anyway, um, so basically, this is how I do my slush cast. I've got my cups. i got my resins. i got my silicone mold. I've got my Plasti Paste shell. i got my uh, scale here to test everything out. i got my popsicle sticks. Um, so pretty much this is everything. So what I do first is I go ahead and I get my mold... Um, my silicone mold prepared so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly dust this and this is gonna be real time so if there's gonna be parts of it that are going to suck because it's just gonna be a shot of me just spinning and spinning and spinning the uh, mold but that's okay um, it's just part of it so you guys are just gonna have to um, hang in there with me and so there I've got a light dusting on the inside and I'm gonna go ahead and drop my mold inside of my Plasti Paste shell here you see my retention grooves so I've got those uh, so they lock together and as you can see I've got pry bars here um, not the best cleanest looking uh, shell but it is what it is it gets the job done um, it's about the end result, not what it looks like for me personally. Um, so I just go ahead and I get anxious, and so I just want to get those things going. So this is a smaller one, so I'm going to go ahead and just start with um, probably four ounces of resin uh, for this side. Maybe, uh, nope, I lied, I'm going to go five. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I got, uh, not ounces, excuse me, 0.5 ounces. No, five ounces would be a lot of resin. So then I'm going to go ahead and tear that out. And I'm going to do 5, 0.5 ounces on this side as well. Okay. So now I've got the mix here of side A and into side B. And it's always important to make sure that you guys uh, scrape the sides of your cup, scrape the bottom of the cup. Make sure that both side A and B are incorporated or you'll get these uh, uncured spots. Uh, and that sucks. You guys, you don't want that. You want to make sure that you get a good mix. You uh, This is uh, a pretty quick, I think this is a three minute resin. So I, I, I hustle, I get stuff uh, mixed to where I need it to and I, I go a little longer on the mixing part because I know that in the roto casting I'm just gonna keep going until it gels so um, you're gonna see kinda what I'm talking about so I, I push this as far as it goes uh, for my time normally I would uh, maybe bolt these together but I'm not too worried about this because it is a pretty good shell. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour a little tiny bit of resin in. About half that, half that cup. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a good coating on the inside. I'm just going to slush this thing around so that all the areas are coated up on the inside there. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour in my other section of resin out of this cup and I'm gonna just proceed to just start spinning and I see that all the areas are getting coated you could zoom in on that Katie if you would and you can kinda see that face uh, being coated in there and all those cracks and crevices but anyway that's pretty much it and I wanna make sure I got all my areas coated and being very careful you don't want to slush this so rapidly that it splashes out that's a waste of resin and it's also potentially dangerous if you're not wearing uh, gloves and eyeglasses like myself <laughs> right now currently I live on the edge people so anyway 
I just keep roto casting this and you can um, you can see there's it's slushing around in there I'm gonna try to keep this in frame I can't see it in the frame but Katie can so hopefully everything's going good you getting good shots of this Katie yes okay very good very thankful for Katie out here with me tonight uh, I could have done this with my GoPro, but, um, you know, it's always nice to have that second set of hands to kind of watch to make sure that everything is going smooth. So this, this literally is how it goes for the next couple minutes. And I'll just really keep spinning and rotating this until it starts to gel and fire. And as the time gets closer and closer, I'm actually going to just go ahead and keep going as quick as I can because it's going to want to start to gel and if I go slow it'll start to string on the inside um, where it kind of starts to set and then it starts to droop so there it's starting to it's starting to gel up a little bit you can barely see it moving around in there but I want to get a nice even coat so I'm just gonna keep moving because I don't want super thick spots and super thin spots. And if I do let it gel, I want it to gel in the face, um, maybe in the back of the head where the seam line might be. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of now just start to work the face area here. Because the face is where all the detail is. Okay, so there it goes. It started to gel. See it kicking in there? You get a good shot of that, Katie? Mm -hmm. So there you see it's, it's fired off. So now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix up my second small batch of resin. And this time I'm going to do the .4. I lied. There's 0.5. <laughs> this stuff is pretty finicky for this scale, so... And if you get like 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 in your weights and your ratios, I think you'll be okay. I've, I've done it. It's, 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 pretty, uh, it's pretty easy to do that. If, it, won't, it won't ruin it. Now, if it's 0 0.5 of side A and, you know, 1.5 of side B, there you're going to have a problem. But anyway. So again, here comes my second section. Or second batch, I should say. I don't know why I say section. And if you can see, I'm rotating the cup with my thumb and my fingers. And then I'm also stirring that way I'm really making sure that I'm getting all the sides everything good mix now the nice thing about this is that that resin that has just fired off on the inside is pretty darn hot and it's in the gelling stage so we are gonna take advantage of that and we are gonna pour it in and the heat from the first batch is going to help cure a little faster. So same song, different verse. We're going to just go ahead and pour it in, keep twisting, keep spinning, keep rotating. And, and believe it or not, this mold, even at 0.5, see now I spilt a little bit out there. That's okay because that it gives me a little extra. It's kind of a reservoir to take the extra resin out. These resin castings, you got to be careful because if you get too much resin in there, then it'll have a tendency to be too thick. And then if, when you go to put your filler on the inside, whether it's foam or uh, the expandable foams or whatever it is you're using, um, it'll be filled more with resin. So I always try to get just a nice, a nice decent thickness, but not so thick that you're, you know, you can't get your foam in there or you can't display it properly. And I find that it's just easier to rotate like this rather than doing this because it works on my shoulders 
uh, pretty heavy. <laughs> it's pretty taxing on your body. And I just keep this sucker moving. I guess while this is getting ready to fire, I'd like to say I, I appreciate everybody and all their support uh, and liking these videos. Uh, I also see all the new subscribers, so I appreciate you guys. If this is your first time visiting the channel, thank you guys so much for checking out the, the channel and all the videos. I hope that it's a, uh, you know, a useful tool for everybody. You can also check me out on Instagram, uh, Toby Wayne Studios over there on Instagram. Still spinning. I can see it looks like it's getting a little thicker in there for the gelling aspects, so that's good. And because I let it fire off in the face the last time, this time I'm going to try to get it to fire off evenly and or on the back half, which is this side. Um, and that's the back of the head. And then that way it's thicker there. And then tighten in on that, Katie. You can see it, it just fired off. And it's pretty thick in there. So there's the face on the bottom, and that's the back of the head. So uh, my goal is, is I believe that I got everything, um, I guess, coated. Um, sometimes you can look in and see thin spots. Uh, I think we're looking good. I'm pretty sure that's good, yeah. I'm not seeing any thin spots that I'm aware of. But it's so hard to tell before you, you know, demold this thing. So, um, yeah. So, so we're going to go ahead and pause the video and uh, then we will come back as soon as this is cured and we will uh, demold it. So, we'll catch you in a few minutes. And we're back. So here we've let about 10 minutes go by and I'm going to now go ahead and demold this. So the first half pops off, then the second half, then this is our, you know, uh, mold, uh, silicone mold. So then I just carefully uh, pull it apart and I just very carefully gently wiggle it so that it pops free. You can you can hear it pop and feel it pop when you go to demold it. And then it pulls out. And then this just pops off. And it looks like we've got a pretty good thickness all the way around. Um, I'm looking up to the light and uh, I'm seeing that. There, there's a little tiny thin spot there, but nothing that I couldn't just slop a little, uh, you know, epoxy clay in there to thicken that up. If I really wanted to. I mean, it's a shrunken head's a shrunken head and it's going to have... Uh, thin spots, so that's going to work in my favor. But see how that just flops right off, and uh, yeah, we're good. So uh, yeah, that's my shrunken head. Uh, yeah, that's and that's slush, less slush casting. So it's pretty easy to do um, once you get a, a few of these under your belt. Uh, you you understand how it goes. There's the seam, of course, which if you do it right, you should just be able to flake it off and uh, with a little bit of sand I mean that was with my fingernail and Katie I don't know if you can zoom in on that or not and see but um, yeah that was with my fingernail that I just took that off and you can see how smooth it is and it's a shrunken head so I'll probably put hair on it anyway so anyway thank you guys so much for checking this video out I hope it helps uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, I really appreciate all, all the questions and the interactions and, and just teaching everybody. So anyway, thank you guys for checking this out and I will catch you in the very next video.